Travel Channel, professional explorer, subject matter expert on all things mysterious, Josh Gates. Journeys across continents to uncover evidence of aliens, expedition unknown, hunt for extraterrestrials premieres tonight at uh, 9, 8 central on Travel Channel. Josh uh, joins us here in our L.A. man cave. Good to see you. Standard issue uh, clothing. I see that you're ready to go tackle. Yeah. Now, is that for aliens or is that for? This is for all truth seeking. You have to have a, a kind of adventure shirt. Yeah. An adventure coat. It's, you know, you have to be ready at any moment to investigate a mystery. Okay. Now, the most fascinating thing that I read about you is that you have a tattoo. Sort of. So uh, the very first uh, show that I did was uh, a competition reality show for ESPN called Big Borrow and Deal. Rich Eisen. Was... Rich Eisen hosted it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it was a million years ago. Are you having like a moment where you're remembering I... me from a decade ago? Dan, I think we met him before. I think we met. Have you, we met before, didn't Josh? You, didn't you come to Bristol for this? I I don't know. Have I have we? This is like I totally. This remember is like you. an amazing dad. <laughs> dad, dad? Um, I, I don't I don't know if we did or not. I mean, it, this this was legitimately like 15 years ago, right? This was a long time yeah. ago. So it was a competition reality show. You had to beg your way across the country. I was on a team of four people. And you had to do sports-related tasks along the way. This was sort of the great amaz Amazing Race before that. Yeah, this was of. like ESPN's crack at doing a, a big Amazing Race okay. style show. Yeah. Um, and uh, you had a list of 50 sports-related tasks. You had to complete 10 of them and make it from Times Square to Alcatraz Island, where Eisen would be waiting. And if you could do that and complete 10 tasks, you would win the show. And we had completed nine tasks on this list. And, and one of the layup things on this list that you could do was each member of the team get a tattoo at least the size of a quarter of your favorite sports team logo. Now, I'm not a big sports guy, uh, which is probably one of the reasons I ended up on that show. I'm like the big guy who seems like he should know things about sports, and you, I, and you I don't. You look like you could be a lineman. Yeah, and, and in high school, they always, you know, my dad was a big football player. They always wanted me to go over. I'm just not a sports guy. And so that was – people thought that was funny, so that's how I – I think that's the only reason I was on that show. And – um but I wanted to win, you know, so so the very last thing we did in California to win the show was we each got a tattoo. So I think two people on the team, I think, got a Yankees logo. I got a I'm a Boston guy. I got a Red Sox uh, B on the bottom of my foot. And the reason I got it there and the, and the other guy got a Clemson Tiger, South Carolina guy. And uh, the reason I got it there is I was told that if you get tattoos on the bottoms of your feet, they might come off over time because the skin sloughs off, <laughs> yes. you know, and I, you know, I didn't want a Red Sox tattoo for the rest of my life. So got on the bottom of my foot. It was there. It didn't fade. It was there for about three or four months. Woke up one day, looked at the bottom of my foot, totally gone. But that's a mystery. That's a mystery. Yeah. Did you still explore? It was still investigating. <laughs> sort of a, it, it, explain the show. The, the, what, the new show. The new show. Yeah. Um, Expedition Unknown. We go around the world and we investigate legends and mysteries. So everything from uh, lost treasures, vanished explorers, lost cities, you know, all that cool stuff. And uh, we go and we work with explorers and archaeologists that are like out in the world doing this stuff. We link up with them and we tell the story of the thing that they're after. And hopefully we're there when they find some cool stuff. That's that's the basic idea of the of the main show. And we're doing a big four part special that kicks off tonight on the subject of extraterrestrials. Okay. So we're going all over the world hunting for ETs. Give me a story that is going to make me think twice about the extraterrestrials or aliens out there. Well, there's kind of two different angles to the extraterrestrial thing. One is the science angle, which is, is there life out in the universe at large? Yeah. And the other one is the experiencer angle. Have they been here? You know, these these people who claim they've been yeah. abducted or they've seen things. So I left this special, uh, this 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 four part special. I am now a 100 percent believer that there is life in the universe because we met with some of the brightest minds on the planet in the show tonight. We go behind the scenes at Mission Control uh, at NASA in Houston. We spoke with the astronauts in the space station. I mean, we, we talked to the best of the best. And there's now this this consensus really among scientists that. Uh, it would be crazy at this point if there isn't life out there. You know, I think 20 years ago, we thought, oh, there may be no planets like Earth. We, 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 we're this really unique thing. Now they're finding Earth-like planets, like, every month. But what, what kind of pushed you over the edge where you go, I'm 100% in on this? You know, going, we went to South America uh, and hung out with these guys who operate one of the largest telescopes in the world. And 
these guys are finding planets that potentially have an atmosphere, gravity, uh, they're the right distance from their star, they're Earth-like. And so you realize now that there may be millions, if not billions of planets that fit the bill. And so at a certain point, you have to kind of say, well, why wouldn't there be life somewhere else? Now, the second part of the question, have they been here? Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a tougher nut to crack. And I'm way more skeptical about that. And we met people who had these incredible experiences. And I will say, there were some cases where I walked away from interviews and I said, I cannot explain what happened to this guy. I don't know if that means that. Well, what happened? We went, for instance, uh, in I think the second or third show, we went to Zimbabwe in Africa, which is home to one of the largest mass UFO sightings in history. So at a, at a school in Zimbabwe about 15 years ago, uh, the kids in this school described this event where a craft silently landed a huge, you know, like, I mean, like 1950s style flying saucer, right? Like out of a movie, landed in this field at the edge of their school. This was seen by nearly a hundred students ranging, ranging from kind of, you know, young elementary school to high school age. All describing the same thing. All seeing the same thing. These kids were, we, we spoke to some of the teachers, the headmistress at the school. People were screaming, crying, I mean, in complete panic. They separated all these kids, took them to their separate classrooms. They weren't even all in the same classroom. Asked them to draw what they'd seen, interviewed them all. They all saw the same thing. And we got about a dozen of them together 15 years later, brought them back to the school, sat them down to hear their story. And I left the interview feeling as though these kids 100% believe that this happened. You know, I mean, they, there, there's almost a trauma to it. And none of them were selling T-shirts. None of them had a best-selling book. Nobody was trying to cash in on it. No reality show. No reality show. No Rich Eisen hosted. No, no Kardashians race, race over across there. across Zimbabwe. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. And, uh, you know, they'd been through something. So I left going, I have no idea what these kids saw. I, I just, I'm stumped. And that's what, that's kind of the fun of this too, is that you meet these people with these crazy experiences and you have to try to figure it out. The show is Expedition Unknown, Hunt for Extraterrestrials on Travel Channel. And he's uh, Josh Gates. He journeys across continents to uncover evidence of aliens. Expedition Unknown, Hunt for Extraterrestrials premieres tonight at uh, 9 Eastern on Travel Channel. Is there one that you've yet, like that uh, would be the highest on your list to try to crack the code with what, what what is your right i'm i'm obsessed with amelia Earhart. we did a show on her in the first season i love uh her i have a, a huge fascination with 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 her and uh i would love to be able to spend my career just hunting down Earhart's plane uh and i think it probably could be found with enough resources but i think it's an expensive endeavor so i that to me is kind of the holy grail of, of mysteries but what about the photo that they just uncovered recently where it looks like she might be in the background of a photo in, in off an island uh, of, off of Japan, I think. That's right. Yeah. Uh, this was like an amazing story. And I, like a lot of people, got really excited about it for a second. And then fairly quickly, it kind of, you know, um, disintegrated that, that a researcher discovered the photo in an archive that it had been taken and published even uh, a number of years before she vanished. So uh, it was this kind of moment of oh, maybe we've got this, which is like so many other things in the Earhart case. There are all these kind of great false leads that, that unfortunately kind of evaporate over time. You got a, a sports mess, mystery that you can solve or you'd want to solve? You tell me. I'm, I'm trying to do 20 of these shows a year. T talk to me. Oh, what, wow. do we, what do we got? A missing trophy? A missing what, – what, what can I go do in the sports realm? You tell me. McLovin? Bloody sock? Kurt Schilling? Ooh. 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 Well, that's just from a Yankee perspective. They don't believe in the bloody sock. I, I, I believe in the bloody sock. What about Babe Ruth pointing? Yeah. Well, calling the, a shot. Calling a home run shot at Wrigley Field. Oh. Yeah, McClellan. Deflategate. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe snarky. I could, I, I, you know, as a, sure. as, a, as a New England guy, as a Boston guy, that's dangerous territory but, for me. But I'm pretty you, sure science has disproved that one already. Guys. Do you want to yeah. <laughs> do you. You, do you tackle it just so you can – kind of exonerate Tom Brady. Sure, but who knows where this will lead. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a yeah. dangerous it's dangerous territory. Let's not kid ourselves. How about I you? don't think any of us are 100% convinced. Why don't you do the Patriots and we could put a lot on, you know, yeah. Spygate. I mean, there's a lot of things. There's a lot. You're I just know. going to investigate the Patriots. It yeah. feel, that, that feels like a dangerous mission, though. <laughs> yeah. You I'm might not be up, welcome back. I'm going to end up in a parking garage <laughs> talking to somebody in the shadows. And, yeah. You know. yeah, Paulie. 
I, I agree with Seton, though. If you did the, the Babe Ruth one, there's been a lot of like sports guys who've done it, but to have a non-sports person to look at it objectively. You know, I, I would love to do that. I think one of the things as the show goes on that we're exploring more and more is, you know, it's not all vanished temples and, and lost explorers. I think that uh, we're, we're trying to do things in lots of different spaces. So as much as we're kind of gagging around about it, it's totally possible to do something like that. I like, fun. I got one, uh, the Immaculate Reception with Franco Harris. Did the ball carom off uh, a teammate, Frenchie Fuqua, where he caught it just off the grass and uh, or the AstroTurf, ran it in for a touchdown, and then they went to the Super Bowl. That one is still, they've got just a couple of camera angles there. They didn't even know where the football was after the touchdown. Right. So there's, there's mystery with that. Was it a legal catch? Um, that might be one as well. Yeah, Paul. Also, how'd the Lakers get Kobe Bryant? How'd they get Charlotte <laughs> to trade for Kobe Bryant? I'm actually <laughs> sensing a full spinoff series here. This um, is Maybe we should be doing the sports version of Can this. somebody call my agent off camera, please? Lock up. <laughs> yeah. Executive producer. Expedition Unknown Paulie. Sports Mysteries Paulie. as a title, please. Get legal zoom on this right now. <laughs> Trademark this sucker right now. We'll type up a treatment. Yes. Uh, good luck with the show. He's J Josh Gates, uh, Expedition Unknown, Hunt for Extraterrestrials on Travel Channel. Expedition Unknown, Hunt for Extraterrestrials premieres tonight at 9, 8 Central on Travel Channel. Good luck in your travels. Thank you so much. And uh, great to have you in here. And let us know if you do do a sports one. We'd be uh, very interested in talking about that or helping you with it. For in sure. Some way. I actually love that idea. I'm into it. I'll maybe, see you, you know, here. Maybe this audience can help, too, if they could send in things. Yeah. You know, uh, you can email us or, or uh, tweet at us. Yeah, Paul. Maybe he can investigate why some of us today couldn't find an iron or a shower because we look <laughs> slovenly. <laughs> I don't think he does that. There's only so far you'll go. That's, there's some mysteries that can't be solved. It's... How long have you gone without a shower? Uh, that's a great question. I think we're definitely over a week. A, uh, maybe nine, ten days. Wow. So like when it's not you, pretty. It's not pretty. <laughs> when you, they fly you out to Ecuador and you're in the middle of this cave, there's not like a five-star that they just helicopter no. you in and out? It's not catered. No, I just ran into another Travel Channel host in an airport, something that I've waited to It's bound to happen. Yeah. And we had been filming in the same town in South America. And he said, boy, hasn't this been amazing down here? They've got me in this beautiful five-star <laughs> place up in the mountains. Do you want to mention who this is? No, he knows. He knows. <laughs> well, but we don't know. It's all right. He knows. Now, is there... Could no, you... I'm sleeping on, like, dirty <laughs> airport floors. We just filmed this episode in Ecuador. Where we slept in a cave under bats, just peeing on us all night. And uh, we were down there for three or four days, no sunlight, uh, filming underground. Three of us ended up in the hospital uh, with uh, severe rotavirus, which I now know uh, is uh, something you don't want to have. Could you, could you take this other Travel Channel guy? <sighs> he's definitely handsomer than me, which is a problem. Uh, but he's also significantly older. Ooh. <laughs> this is I'm, uh -oh. I'm starting a needless a needless fight right now Wait, is this anthony, nobody cares is this anthony bourdain no he's 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 gone on to 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 other pastures he's he's over at cnn now is his first name jack maxwell no okay. i got nothing bad to say about jack maxwell i got nothing bad to say about any of the travel Man. channel guys they're all great i'm just kidding around. all right we got to figure this out josh uh thank you for coming in uh it's here. uh <laughs> the expedition unknown and uh, we have a shower in the back if you need to take one here. Premieres Perfect. tonight at 9, 8 central on Travel Channel. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.